Have you ever wondered if a USB boot stick can have multiple installers on it? I have, and Ventoy is the solution. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to Crazy Logic. So Ventoy is something you can install on a USB and it transforms it into an interactive bootloader. It boots and gives you a list of ISOs uh, that you can choose from and it's pretty simple to use once it's all set up uh, and it's really easy to set up. So how do we set it up? I'll show you how to do it on Linux and I'll show you how to do it on Windows. They're similar but different obviously. Once you've set it up you don't have to do it again and you just drag and drop the ISOs. It's, it's really that simple. So go to ventoy.net and head over to the downloads page then look for the Linux release. It will take you to GitHub where you can see various releases. Choose the latest and then the Linux archive. While it's downloading you can also see there's many ISOs that have been tested uh, with it and there's, there's just loads. Anyway, I have disks open and you can see that I have a blank 32 gig USB connected and it has the device SDD associated with it. This is important to note down. Back to the downloaded archive and you'll need to extract that to a folder. Then open up a terminal and CD to the downloaded and extracted contents. Doing a DIR you'll see that Ventoy to disk script is there and you'll need to run that as sudo. So type in sudo space dot slash capital V and then hit tab followed by enter. Uh, and you'll need to put in your password if requested. It explains how to call the script against the disk. So in my case, that's sudo space dot forward slash ventoy to disk dot sh and then space dash i space forward slash dev forward slash sdd. Double check this again with disks and then press enter to execute. The script will ask you to confirm the disk details and then go ahead and do the install tasks. You can see the disk layout changing as it does stuff. When complete, you'll see a removable disk called Ventoy. You just drag and drop your ISOs to that when you want them. I really use Windows these days, but for a lot of people it will be their desktops. So go to ventoy.net again, uh, head to the downloads and follow the links to the GitHub and then locate the Windows zipped folder. Open extract the archive. Then locate the Ventoy to disk executable and run it. It'll ask you to confirm for security and then prompt you to locate a disk and then you just hit install. You can see it changes the disk layout like on Linux uh, from the disk management utilities. Again, drag and drop your ISOs that you want to the drive. How do you use it? You just plug it in uh, and you go. So you boot from the USB as normal and then you select the ISO that you, you want to install. A couple of things I was curious about is can you use the, the USB uh, just as a normal drive, yes you can, you can just drag and drop and Ventoy just ignores files when it boots, it only looks for um, bootable images. Uh, how big can the stick be? Dunno, I've tried with a 128 gig stick and it works just fine. Um, and can you use any images other than ISOs? Yes you can, you can use a number of other images, ISOs, WIMS, IMGs and VHD files. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching this and I hope you found it useful. Uh, if it has, then please hit that like button and subscribe for future content like this.